Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. We have a gorgeous brand new unboxing. It is from Louis Vuitton. So if you guys love Louis Vuitton, please stick around. This bag really has not been on my radar and I don't know why because I absolutely love it. Let's open her up. So people have been going on and on about this bag for years and I have not understood why until I got one in. You ready? Ah! It's the Alma BB. That's right, the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I recently got one in, in the black Neo. So in the one with the monogram, with the logos all over it. And I really love the functionality of that bag. I love the size. I loved how it felt when I wore it. Um, it just has a feel about it with the handles. And I really wanted to try one that didn't have the logos all over it. As you guys know, I'm not really a big logo person or monogram type of person. So when this came up, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna love this. It's also in the most gorgeous pink color. This baby pink light pink color is just stunning i've been wanting a bag in this pink color for a long time i don't have anything in a light pink i've only got it in like a nude pink or a dusty pink sort of like the the mini um lady dior there um and i do have like a cappuccines in like a dusty pink but they're all not a light pink like this. And I do find that when I'm wearing that light pink kind of bubblegum pink kind of outfit, the, that nude color doesn't really work. So I usually have to like completely change the color. So I've been thinking for a while, I really need like a baby pink, light pale pink colored bag. So I, I will tell you guys a secret. Not really a secret, but I've had this bag for quite a few weeks and I have been wearing it non-stop. That's right. That's something I usually don't do in case I damage the bag before I get to film it. But I have been wearing it non-stop because I just couldn't help myself. I was like, this bag is so gorgeous. It's like the perfect running around town bag. It's got the top handles, taking kids to school, you just push it and push it into the car. And when you're running errands, you're running to the supermarket, there is a strap as well, so you can attach the strap, put it over your crossbody. It just, it's just amazing. Um, I was very hesitant on this epi leather style finish. I do like the fact that it's like a scratch resistant type of leather, which is amazing. But I always sort of felt like it was a little bit plasticky and a little bit hard and structured. And I sort of struggle with hard and structured bags. But you know what, as soon as this came in, all my worries were gone because it's still soft. It's still kind of a little bit moldable. It's not super stiff. And I think the finish is really, really great. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys up close, see if you can see, you can see all the lines. That's the embossed leather. It used to be called an epi leather. I don't know if this is the epi leather because for me, it reminded me a bit of the Epson leather when I originally saw it. This one's not like that, so I don't know if this is the same. So I'll put on screen if, if I'm uh, mistaken. This has got the silver hardware, and I have to say with this pink color, silver hardware just works. It is so beautiful with this color. I just find it makes it look fresh. It makes it look new. Um, it really is a nice compliment to the baby pink. On the hardware, there are little Louis Vuitton buttons all here and here. And there's even Louis Vuitton Paris made in France down here, just on one side. And there are four feet at the bottom that also say Louis Vuitton. Very important. Then there is the hardware of the zipper. Now the zipper is pretty good. It's not super buttery. It's not as buttery as the Nano Speedy that I recently got in. That had a really buttery zipper. However, for Louis Vuitton, we know that Louis Vuitton is notorious for crunchy zippers. It's pretty smooth for Louis Vuitton. 
okay mm -hmm. on that sort of standard on that scale the um, hardware of the zippers is like a brushed silver so um, a little bit different and then the lock is like a shiny silver normal silver just like sort of the hardware of um, all these toggles the piping on this bag is like a dark brown color um, and it is beautiful it is seamless there is nothing out of place I was recently in Louis Vuitton and I picked up a twist twist lock I think it's called a twist lock bag I'll put a picture of it on screen absolutely fell in love with that bag but when I looked around the handles the piping was so messy and I was like why would I spend this amount of money on a bag and the piping be wonky and it looks like a fake? Just saying. I'll show you the inside. The inside has the most gorgeous baby pink suede lining, like a micro suede. I'll show you guys. Looks like that. It's super soft and beautiful. It is lined really nicely considering the black one that I've got is kind of a little bit not raw like it is lined but it's raw looking on the inside if that makes sense like there's a couple of open sections and there's buttons you can see the buttons that press the feet together inside the bag that kind of thing um, which is you know exactly how it's supposed to be this one is lined all the way to the bottom you cannot see the feet exposed or anything like that there is one little pocket on one side. I've got my little Louis Vuitton booklet in there. And I've also got my strap in here as well. The strap is absolutely gorgeous. It is non-adjustable. Um, and it has the Louis Vuitton logos on the clips. And these clips just go into the side of the handles really really beautiful now normally when I do a comparison I don't normally like to compare this bag to the exact same bag however in this case sorry I'm just gonna close this up one thing I will say when you put the lock on this I don't know if you're supposed to do that but I put it on there because it's supposed to sort of lock the bag that's the whole purpose also the lock came in this little box and there's also this clochette thing with the keys on it um, I don't like dangly things so I'm not gonna put that on my bag but um, just so you guys know if you do like it it's there I do find that when you put the lock on one of these it's a lot harder to open the zip but you have to use the zipper pull don't use the lock because the lock is bigger you kind of you instinctively grab the lock to pull the zip open but if you just grab the zipper it just opens um, pretty nicely. So I want to compare this Alma BB to the Neo Alma BB because I went to buy an insert for this bag because I would like to sort of get an insert as soon as possible. This one's basically a bucket so you kind of need an insert if you want stuff to be organized. So I went to buy an insert and there were two different inserts for this and for this and I was like aren't they the same bag just in a different finish? No, they are not the same bag. If you look, this has a more of a triangle shape on the side. And it's also a bit sharper. See that? It's got an A shape on the side. This one also has an A shape. However, it's not sharp on the corners. Um, it's actually quite a different shape. And you can see here, this one goes like an A it's slanted there's a slope this one is straight right so the shape of the bag is actually quite different I wouldn't say quite different but it is a little bit different this one's also a little bit taller you can see that the sizing is not exact super weird I thought they would have made it exactly the same this is more in line with the canvas versions, like the monogram canvas and the check, um, the Demi-Air print. That's this kind of style, whereas the leather one is made of this. I'm not sure why they did that. I have a feeling it's got something to do with the leather and the way the leather sits. So they had to change the shape. Um, 
but I thought that that was very interesting that the height and the sides are very different in shape from that Alma BB to this Alma BB. Alma BB Neo Alma BB, I think it's called. And then this one's just the Alma BB. Okay, so for me to compare the size of this Alma BB, the closest bag I think I have to this size is the Chanel 19 in the small. So um, in the 26 centimeter. Now this looks a lot bigger than it really is because of the puffiness. But when you open it, the internals and the size of the internals is very similar to this bag. Um, I will say that it's a lot easier to get into the 19 than it is the Alma. The Alma's like a bucket, so it's a little bit different. This one, it's a little bit taller, obviously. So you're digging a lot deeper when you're using this as opposed to this one. Um, but size wise and volume, everything I could fit into here would fit into here and vice versa. Okay. So to give you guys a comparison, I mean, I know the shape is really hard to kind of match. You can see there's a little bit more volume at the bottom, but it's also narrower up the top, like a triangle. So all in all, it's a very similar size. The second bag that I'll probably compare the size to would be the YSL or Saint Laurent Cassandra bag. I do find these bags to be very similar in size. I will say that the Cassandra to me is a little bit bigger um, just because it's a little bit taller and a little bit wider up the top, which you can see doesn't go to a point the way that the Alma BB does. Um, but this also has sections. So I find that when bags ha have sections, they fit a lot less into them. Similar, this one is a lot heavier too, and I can tell you can fit a lot more. Just so you can compare the size. I have to say this Alma BB is a really hard one to compare the size because it is such an unusual shape. It is not like any other bag. So I guess the other bag that to me reminds me of this shape is the Hermes bag. Um, I can't remember what it's called. The Bollier, Brolier, Brolier. I'll put the name on screen, but they are very similar. I'm going to head into the mod shots now so you guys can see this beautiful bag on my frame. This pink color is just to die for, guys. I am just absolutely loving this. It was really a great choice for me. Um, they also have it in black, I believe, maybe red. Uh, but check out their site if you're interested. I will show you guys this handheld so you can see it against my frame as well as in the crook of my arm. I can wear it in the crook of my arm if I had to. Um, so there's no issues doing that. I'll also show you the shoulder strap on the shoulder and how low it drops on me. It's probably a little bit low for me. So I would probably only be wearing this crossbody if I was to put it across my body. Um, I really like this style just to be handheld, but if I have to put it on my body, like if I'm at the supermarket and I need my hands, then I would put the strap on. Otherwise, I would actually leave the strap off and I'd just use the handles. But you can see it here where it sits on my body um, if I wear it cross body. Bearing in mind, guys, when I wear bags cross body and they're connected, on the diagonal like this, like one loop here, one loop here. You can sort of see it goes across the bag and sort of loops like this on the opposite. Very similar to the Lady Dior. When you have bags that do that, they tend to go a little bit wonky. They tend to be pulled because they're pulling from that side and pulling from this side. So they tend to skew. Um, so just be careful if you've got a lot of stuff in it and if you're wearing it crossbody, you might actually mold the bag over time. Um, and that's something I do think about when I'm carrying it crossbody. It doesn't feel natural, like a natural crossbody, if that makes sense. So that's why I think this is mainly a handheld bag.
I don't usually like structured bags, but I am really loving this one. Um, I just find it super bougie. The color is gorgeous. You saw my outfit earlier. I just sort of tried to wear something a little bit casual, but still a little bit dressy with the blazer. So you can kind of get an idea of how you could dress this up and down at the same time. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week on handbags and fashion. And head over to my Instagram because I'm really active over there. I post stories nearly every day and I run a lot of giveaways, polls, and a whole lot more over there. And I've also started on TikTok, so head over there and join me there as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.